Hey, what's up guys? My name is Dylan, Space Cadet Crypto here, and today we're going to be looking at the Shiba token and its price action today because it has been dropping down, down 8% already. So if that interests you and you want to stay up to date with all the Shiba news and price action so far, make sure to like and subscribe, turn on bell notifications so you don't miss on any important updates. But without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, so let's take a look at Shiba. Shiba right now is down 8% today. So we are still looking at a downtrend and I'll be jumping in the charts showing exactly what's gonna be happening with the price, where we can expect the price to go. But we do see that the market cap is right now at $2.6 billion, down 8%. And we do have that trading volume that is still lower than it was before, down 16% today, trading at $436 million. But we do see right here, we do see that our holders are actually still increasing. We still have around 493, almost 494,000 holders, meaning that they are holding the Shiba token, 494,000 unique addresses here. And it has been growing exponentially this past week, starting from Friday, June 4th at 474,000, all the way up to now to almost 500,000. So that's good to see here that new people are still coming to the crypto space and investing in the shit token. So that's good to see here. And we do see that it's almost at 500,000. So I'll be updating you on this channel, but let's just take a look at the price right now. And let's look at the technicals and see what is actually telling us and where can we expect Shiba to go? Cause right now it is at 8% to the downside. Okay. So at the time of this recording, Shiba Inu is at 0 0.000067 USD and it is down 3% today. And if we look here on the chart, we do see that we have been bouncing off of these blue support boxes right here. So now it was a symmetrical triangle, but so far it has been coming back down to the downside right here, making this as very solid support. But we have already touched this bottom part multiple times. We touched it here once, twice, three times, four times, five times, and six times. So it is not much longer till this thing does break to the downside. So you have to be on the lookout for that. Because if we do break from this downside, we are going to be starting to trade within these levels right here. So that is also very, very important to watch because we do see that this lower box here is at that 4195 level. So if we measure that move to the downside, I just want you all to be prepared just in case it does fall to the downside. We do see Bitcoin start to drop down lower again. Measured move from the downside would be another 34% move to the downside. So that is what's in the store for the Shiba token. If we manage to break this critical, critical support here, because we have been using it as support multiple times. Remember, the more time you test an area of support or resistance, the more likely it is to break to whichever side it is testing. And we also do see that we are below all of these moving averages right here. We do see that we are below the yellow 21 day moving average, the orange 50 day moving average, and the red 200 day moving average as well. Let's also take a look at a, a higher time frame. This is the four hour. Let's look at the six hourly too. And let's zoom in. So we do see that we have actually bounced off of this blue box right here. We bounced off. Then we came back up here and tested this red 200 day moving average as support and got quickly rejected. So we now are facing more resistance here. We're getting this yellow and red cross as well, which is signifying of a death cross, meaning when the 21 day crosses over this red line, the 200 day moving average. So that is also not looking good as well. And we did find that rejection right before that cross happened. So we do have very little time before we can actually make a reversal. And that all depends on Bitcoin's price and all the other altcoins as well. They're also trading and trailing Bitcoin. So we do see that we could potentially make a W pattern right here. We are getting a higher low if this low actually does hold this higher low. So we could potentially make a mini W pattern right here. And this will be the neckline, which is also convergent or confluent with my 200 day red moving average here. So we have to be on the lookout for that. If we do manage to break to the upside, if Bitcoin starts to regain momentum, we can make this measure move to here. We can actually break above this uh, this resistance or this support that has turned resistance, and we can actually make it to our price target here at around eight six seven. So that's what's looking like in the charts for Shiba. We are still in a bearish trend. We have been ever since we got rejected from this top part of the ascending triangle or this uh, symmetrical triangle here at that point zero 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 ten area. 
and we have since fallen down here. So this area has to hold. It's very critical that we do hold this area. If not, we are going to be trading in that lower region, which I said before, around that four two four nine five range. And let's also take a look here at our RSI. So on the RSI, we are very, very oversold right here. We don't see any bullish or bearish divergences, but we do see that we are super oversold, just like how we were back here on the 21st of May. And if we look back at our chart compared to the RSI, so let's zoom in right here. So this is when we're completely oversold. We still are oversold right here. So we do see the last time we were oversold was back here in the 21st of May. So it actually does look like we're gonna be creating our M pattern here, which is a bearish pattern. And if you don't know what an M pattern is, is when we create this M shape and we create a higher high and a lower high or equal highs. In this case, we do have sort of an equal high here if we don't count this big wick to the upside, but we are creating this M pattern and we are having this blue box as support also as the neckline for this M. And if we do manage to break below this M neckline, we are gonna either make a straight drop to the to this area of neck support, or we're gonna retest this area of the neckline and then come back down here. We can retest this area and then this lower area here at the blue box as well. So be on the lookout for that because it does look like we are starting to play that out because we are getting a bounce from this blue box, but it was a very weak bounce. And let's just look at the Fibonacci retracement level too. So if I take my Fibonacci retracement from the swing high up here, all the way down here to our swing low, we do see that we actually did get rejected off this first Fibonacci retracement level at the 0.235 or 0.236. And we actually are starting to trade below that again. And if we also take another Fibonacci retracement level from this swing low to this swing high, we do see that we actually drop down below and actually hit our price target for this downwards trend at the 1.272 area. So if we do manage to come back here and retest this again and drop down further, we are going to be hitting these price points here at the 5.7 range, the 5.12 range, and ultimately here in this lower range here at the 0.42. So a 0.000042 range. So be on the lookout for that. Remember, if you want to stay updated with the price targets for the Shiba token, remember to like and subscribe because I'm going to be covering here on my channel. But without further ado, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you found it informative, make sure to subscribe. But that is it for me. Peace out.